watching you. Kids, kids learn by action. We can tell them one thing. We could be smoking cigarettes all day. And then you be like, Johnny, don't you smoke no cigarettes when you grow up. Ray Ray, don't you smoke this blunt when you grow up. Man, Ray Ray hear you, but Ray Ray see what's the action. Hey, Ray, Ray Ray want action. You know what I'm saying? We learn by action, whatever we doing. So the Lord said, look, you got to do the commandments that your son may see a, a light on you, that he may want to follow you. Because your kids gonna automatically want to follow you. You understand what I'm saying? Whether you the biggest kingpin, uh, say for instance, just a worldly, this is just a worldly um example. Uh, Jay Prince, we, you know Jay Prince, right? You heard Jay Prince. You heard his son, right? Don't Jay Prince Jr. try to be like his son? He can't be like him, but he's trying to be like him. They want to say you can tell them, look, don't go get your own lifestyle. No, they gonna want to see what they seen what you did. They gonna want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing with your kid. Keep the commandments. It ain't hard to keep God's commandments. First John 5 and 3. It ain't hard, bro. I thought it, at first I thought it was hard. I said, man, it's going to be hard keeping commandments. You know, I come from a life of not living. I'm breaking everything. So I'm like, ain't no way I can keep no commandments. Ain't no way I can have one wife right now. I got one wife with four kids with them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't step out on my wife. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> you feel me? In the world, I ain't finna be... In the, in, the, in the world mentality, I'm like, man, I'm finna hit her. I want her. I'm hitting her. I'm a whore monger in the world. You feel me? But when I got myself together, I understand it's a bigger plot. As a nation, we are a nation. We always look at individual. We never look at look at our nation. When you ride around, when you leave here, you start to look at your people as a nation. Like, damn, look at my people. We really messed up out here. Damn, we really don't know how to deal with each other. We really killing each other. We're stepping on some shoes. Your eyes begin to open. Like, damn, we what's going on with us? Then once you go, once you ask what's going on with us, why why this happened to us? We're gonna let you know why it's happening to us. Because we break our laws. But to, to get out of that is always a solution. He's not gonna just have us in a down state and we can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Read what you got. The book of first John, chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. So what is love, Derek? That we keep his commandment. What is what is love, Derek? That we keep his commandments and, and watch this. And his commandments are not grievous. He said, My commandments are not hard. Right. I ain't give you nothing hard to do. Right. I ain't give you nothing hard to do. It seems hard because this Galatians 5 and 17. Let me show you why it seems like it's hard to keep God's commandments. It's you seem like it's hard to keep God's commandments. It ain't hard to keep God's commandments. Watch this what you got. Galatians 5 and 17. The book of Galatians, chapter 5 and verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. What's going on? For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. So our flesh is going against our spirit. Our spirit want to do right. But the flesh said, look, I need to hit her tonight. The flesh said, look, I'm finna, I'm finna sell this dope. I need some, I need money. Your mind will make stuff up. The flesh against your spirit. Watch this, right? And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. They contrary one to another. They go against each other, right? So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. You see that? You can't even do the thing that you really want to do because your flesh. That's why you got to learn to get around people in the spirit. They got a spirit on them like us. We got the spirit on us, bro. You can know we got the spirit on us. But we going to those scriptures. We ain't got no pen or pad rolled down. What's going on, big dog? Right now, what we going over, is, bro? We want to do right by God, but that flesh, that flesh keep a, a void between us and God. Watch the Jeremiah, hold that Jeremiah 5 and 25. Let's show you that what block us from God. What really block us from really connecting to the Father? What do you think, my big dog? What's your name? Snapple. 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 Like so, a like a real Snapple. 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 So, Snapple. Snapple. What do you think block us, our relationship with God? Us. us. Okay, give me a little more detail. You right, us do block us from God. But what are we doing to block us from God? Or to, or to block God from really dealing with us righteous? To get the black man out the lower state. Why why you think separate us? That's what I want. Derek, what you think? That's what I want to see. see. I want to see that. Now watch this, let's prove it, Derek. You on the point. The book of Jeremiah. Hey, what's going on, big dog? I got Snapper right here. What's your name, big dog? David. Mighty name, bro. Mighty name. So now, what we going over here, what separates us from God? 
because we can want to do right, but then we do wrong. What we'll separate us from God, man? We're going to read it. Derek said it. Derek said it, but we're going to read it out the Bible. Watch this read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. David, what are withholding good things from us? Read it again. And your sins have withholding good things from you. David, what is blocking us from getting these good things? Our sins. So that means we got to find out what the sin is so we can fix it so we can get what's ours. Read it again. Your iniquities have turned away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. So our sins withholding good things. Derek, so you see what you see on this sign right here, everything on the left is what right here. David, peep this sign out. From your daddy lineage, what what are, what is you according to you? To everything, everything on the right is what the slave master called us. Everything on the left is what God called us in the Bible. So what would you be called today? Is it African American? West Indy, what would you be called? According to your dad is your dad, your dad's side Puerto Rican, well you'll be Ephraim in the Bible. You'll be from the mighty tribe of Ephraim. We are the nation of Israel, but we different tribes that make one nation. That's why I say, if, don't you know the kingdom of heaven got 12 gates? Let's read it. What I had you holding? Okay, go to Revelations. Now watch it, go to Revelation. I want to show you that. David, what about you? According to your daddy line. Benjamin, according mighty, mighty tribe. Paul came from that tribe. Mighty men come from that tribe. Now watch this. But see, they, this is what they don't teach us. The Bible let us know who we are. We lost that. Let me show you how we lost that first. When we get to 12 gates, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Because we normally would have knew this, but we lost the knowledge. Let's see how did we lose this knowledge. I want y'all to let me know if it's true or not. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch the read what you got. Sir. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So David. It said we was going to discontinue. What does the word discontinue mean? Huh? You said, right, counsel. Derek, what does the word discontinue mean? Stop, right? So it said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. Now I got another question. What is heritage? Because it said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. So what is heritage? Your ancestor, okay, I can, I can ride with that, but a little more detail. What, what you say, David? What is heritage? Because it said we're going to discontinue from our heritage. History, I like that. You said what? Everything that we had going. From, from the way what we eat, how we dress, how we deal with each other, what we celebrated. All the, think about it, because now we celebrate what? Who, who stuff we celebrate? The white man stuff. Right. That ain't no rocket scientist. Right. 1776, what is that? What they call that? What do they call 1776 here? Oh, Independence Day. Right. Fourth of what? July. July. Right. So now in 1776, we was doing this in 1776. What they on cotton field at? I think I, well, let me see. This one? Yes, sir, right here. Okay. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we were doing in 1776. We was picking cotton in 1776 in Alabama. I can ride right now and see a, 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 a cotton field. I can go right now and get out my car and pick a piece of cotton right now. Let you know how thick cotton was in Alabama, in Mississippi, Georgia. We picked cotton in 1776. We wasn't free. Wasn't no Independence Day about this. How, we, how the hell? We independent when we in the cotton field getting paid no money, barely getting food, barely getting water, but we free. Hell no, nah, we never were free. That's the white man day. Right. But now, who celebrated the hardest? 
White people. We celebrate that joint hard now, 4th of July. You have a brother walking around with a whole American flag on. Right. Ain't got nothing to do with us. That's how we discontinue. So when we discontinue from what we were celebrating, the white man put everything on us that he want us to do. And everything he put on us is of him. Right. He's the deceiver of the earth. He, he deceived you as if he's right and righteous, but he's the devil of the Bible speaks of. Right. The, the, de the word devil just means deceiver. It don't mean nobody walking around with a, a horn, two horns on their head and a fork in a tail. No, the, the devil in the Bible just means deceiver. He deceived, who deceived the world as if they righteous, but they killed over 77 uh, million Indians. But then they say they righteous. Then they ship us over here and get 200 of us died just on the transportation back and forth from Haiti, I mean from South from um, west coast of Africa to South America to North America. Over 200 million. Wow. And then they say they, they righteous? How the same people that ain't treat you right, how the same people that ain't treat you right, how they gonna teach you right? If he ain't, if he burning you alive, give him, what, 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 if he putting these whips on your back, how in the hell he gonna teach you about God? Wow. Ain't no way. He raping my wife at night. He's selling my kids off on an oxygen slave block. He branded my auntie right here. How in the hell he gonna tell me he gonna tell me about some God? How in the hell he gonna tell me some slaves obey your master and close the book? They ain't never read us no book. They just ain't want us to read to, to get back connected to our heritage, knowing that we the kings of the earth, knowing that we the gods of the earth. Now watch this. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Now let's see what heritage is in the Bible. Watch this read. The book of Sarah, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He gave us what? The law of life for inheritance. He gave us the law of life for inheritance. Meaning what? How we, the commandments, on how to, I know how to deal with you. If I had a problem with you, it ain't to, boom, boom, boom. The lurking is to, let me go, let me holler, let me talk to him. Hey, man, man, look, I don't know if you did it or not, man, but, man, could you, don't do me like that no more, bro. All right, bro. You know what I mean? We know how to deal, now we don't know how to deal with each other. Do we know how to deal with each other as men now? Man, you barely could even say something to somebody. They might want to gun you down. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. White, white, a white man. Oh no doubt. That's what I said. We don't know how to. No, I ain't say. I ain't say young. I ain't say young. Oh, that was. Oh, you said young. Oh. No, no, no. It's everybody. You know why? Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and 28. It's everybody. Because we don't know how to deal with each other from the old to the young. Right. 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 Trying to talk the situation down. You can't do nothing else. You did everything you, did everything you could. You tried to talk the situation down. So you got first-hand experience on, watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Our people have a madness of mind. Madness meaning we ain't got, we, we ain't got it right. Right. And you right. There you go. And see, rap on him because he ain't know how to deal with his brother. You was dealing righteous. He got judged. The Lord just judged him. But watch this, big dog. There, watch the read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 59. 
I thought on my way. So that's what you got to do now. Because you got a lot of experience going on. The Lord dealing with you. You too, David. You here right now. Out of all the people here, y'all two here for a reason. But watch this. Read it again. I thought on my way. Now you got to think on your ways. Now you know you got to clean up some other stuff. You got to fix some other stuff. Like we all do. We still got to fix stuff. Don't think. We we oh a holy than thou. No, we got a, a, a struggle and a fight even harder because we trying to teach the people. So Satan showing up coming down. So now watch it read again. I thought on my way. So David, you got to think on your ways on how you can keep the commandments. And we're going to go over some commandments just, just in case you ain't know because we, we in this predicament because we broke God commandment. So now we're going to have to let you know what you're breaking so you can fix it. You know what I'm saying? We got to give you the solution on how to get out. Watch this read. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. Y'all, you got to turn your feet unto keeping God commandment, knowing you're an Israelite, knowing you God chosen people. It comes with responsibilities now. It comes with what? I got to come separate from this world. I can't have the same mind as the world or I used to have. I got to get my mind according to what the Bible say now. I got to start to transform my mind. Hold that real quick. Let's prove that. Romans 2 and 2. You, just to prove that you got to start conforming your mind from this world to the Bible. Romans 12 and 2. Watch this. Romans 12 and 2, watch this. Because we all had we all been there, we all had to conform our mind. It was hard for me to come out the streets, bro. It was horrible. I knew that I stopped beginning to know the truth. I know a little something, but it was hard for me to just walk out until the Lord was forcing me to walk out. You said pistol to the head, brothers getting shot in the face. I'm like, this is you can't make this stuff up. You feel me? Watch this read. The book of Romans. Chapter 12 and verse 2. No. Be not conformed to this world. So we can't be conformed to this world. We can't be conformed to, oh, I just want to hang on a block all day. I want to sell dope. I want to be a, a whoremonger. I want, you know what I mean? I want to ride around and look bad with a gun on my lap. We can't conform to this world no more, Re. Right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to renew our minds. And the only way to renew our minds is through the Bible. Nowadays, nobody want to renew their mind, go in the Bible and renew your mind. Because when you go to reading the Bible, it's going to go to change your mind. It's going to start giving you insight on how you're supposed to live. But the flesh going to say, no, you're going to live how you've been living. I want you the old way. I, want, I like you the old way. You feel me? That's what the flesh want on us, but the spirit want us to do right. Read it again. And be not conformed to this world. We can't be conformed to 4th of July. Thanksgiving that they say they gave to some Thanksgiving Christmas all that in the Bible not to do I'm gonna read that in the Bible. We don't even supposed to celebrate the Christmas tree. That's a tree I'm, I'm, I'm like, Why is it a Christmas tree in the house? What does that got to do with Christ? What does a tree got to do with Christ? And then you put a star on top of it, but our people don't know that's witchcraft Right, that's witchcraft they was doing that in the biblical days in um, Babylonian times celebrating. They was worshiping the trees. Then now the white man come give us this crap. I told you everything they give us is evil. But we don't never go read it. The church has got a big Christmas tree because they don't read no Bible. They just say, hey, hallelujah. Aha, God is good. Aha. You make sure you get that 10%. Uh. Aha. They ain't, then when you leave that, you, ain't, you, ain't, you don't remember no Bible scripture. You don't remember no scripture. You ain't, they ain't read you not one commandment. Because the only way to get the kingdom is you got to keep his command. You got to do what God say do. That's no different from a father. If my kids want to go, if I say, um, hey, kids, if y'all do X, Y, Z, I'm going to take you there. The only way they go, I'm going to take them there is what? If they do what I tell them to do. Same thing with God. God said, the only way I'm going to give you this kingdom that you ain't got to cry. No more working. No more tears. No more pain. You and then you're going to have to do what I say do on this earth to prove that you're worthy. That's all he's trying to see. Are you worthy? Do you love him enough? So he can give you what, what you need and what you want, or you love this world more. If you love this world more, then you're going to have to burn with this world. Read. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Big down right here with the black on. We got to change our minds. We got to get our minds back right knowing that we're the kings. I got to see the black Christ in you. I got to see a God in you. You feel what I'm saying? We got to get back to that. Renew our mind. I don't see you as, oh, you ain't nobody. You ain't nothing looking down on you. No. I got to look at you as you the greatest man that ever touched the face of the earth. That's what we got to get back to. Right? That you may prove what is that. Now watch this. First John. Now if we stay in the world. Watch this. Now we stay in that world, Derek and David. If we stay in that world, this is what's going to happen to us. First John 
2 and fi uh, 15. Read you got. The, the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world. Do what? Love not the world. So we don't supposed to love the world, David. Whatever the world got going on, we don't supposed to love it. You feel me, David? Read. Neither the things that are in the world. The things that are in the world. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of temptation in this world. He said don't love that stuff in the world. Watch this read. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You see that? The love of the Father is not in us. If you love this world, the love of the Father is not in you. Now watch this. What's going to happen? Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Ain't nothing but the lust of the flesh. Ain't nothing but something that looks good. It looks appealing. But it's going to lead you down the wrong path. It looks good to sell a dope. It looks good to be a dope dealer riding on the 24s. Wow. It looks real good to sell keys. But get what comes with that. Somebody lurking the plot and blow your brains out for one. The police watching all the time. Wow. All that stuff watching. Some, some, some thoughts just watching to get your money or to set you up on the hit on the lick. All this stuff look like it's good, but it ain't. Watch it read. And the lust of the eyes and the part of life is not of the Father. But is of the world. And the world passeth away. The world gonna do what? Passeth away. And the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God. But he that do the commandments. Abide him forever. You gonna live forever. Ain't no dying. Ain't gonna be no more death. Ain't gonna be no more of our fathers them getting killed. Read. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. That's what we're trying to give our brothers. We're trying to give our brothers life, bro. Because we know this ain't life. Right. We know this is not life, man. Just standing on the corners doing what with our lives? When we die, what, what the hell we've done with our life? Not nothing. What have we done to support our nation? Not nothing. You feel me? So you got to know life more than this. God trying to tell us, look, get yourself right so you can rule these nations. Let me prove that. Revelation 2 and 25. Watch this. We're going to rule over all these nations that have been afflicting us. We don't look at, we look at each other as enemies. We don't know that the other nations is enemies, wow. our enemies. Watch this read. The book of Revelation. We ain't talking about enemies like we're going to pick up no guns, but they always financially uh, against us, right. uh, even health. The, the worst food comes to our communities. Right. Like this burger they was giving out for a, 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 a penny burger, 50 cent. Man, that's death. They, they experiment on us. Right. This is an experiment to see how dumb we are. Right. Yeah, we'll sell them a burger for a penny. Let's see how many burgers we're going to sell. And let's put something in this meat to, uh, uh, to, to harm them. Right. Or even like autism. They told you they gave us autism. Right. They give us all these shots. Why your baby just come out? Your baby just come out out the womb and your baby got to get eight nine shots what the hell my baby need eight nine shots for and what the hell in the shots what this shot for they ain't they ain't gonna tell you they can't tell you what it's for you feel what i'm saying it's for a uh, spearmint on your behind and then when you grow up in the lady you, you want to watch your kid act a little slow because they just gave them something to make them a little slow but we don't look at these things like that we think everybody love us because we love everybody now watch this read the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 25. Yep. But that which ye have already, hold till I come. And he that overcometh. Derek and David. David, when you overcome your sin, your lust, when you overcome that, when you overcome that, when I overcome that, what's going to happen? And keep up my works until the end. We keep God's commandments until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. He gonna give us what? Power over the nation. We gonna have power over these other nations. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We gonna have power over the Arab, the white man, the Chinese man. We gonna have power over all these nations. Because the only reason why they here is was to serve us at first. Right. But God said, since look, y'all don't want to serve me. Y'all don't want to serve the father. Then serve these nations. Serve the white man then. Right. I bet you get your mind right then because he gonna, he gonna, uh, put burdens on you. He going to so no run you down there through the... Then we'll get our mind right. Wait a minute, something ain't right. This can't be life. We can't be life getting whooped in the plant, in the, in the slave field, picking cotton. Something ain't right. 
You feel what I'm saying? We're going to get our minds right. We got to the people, we disrespect God. God said, okay, you want to disrespect me? Then go work for these Arabs. They had my Arab put you in slavery. Or had an Arab come into any neighborhood in any city and post up on our corner store. You go to any city or you go to the other side of town, and right ahead of Arabs got them. Right ahead of East Indian got all the hotels. Why the hell the Chinese folk got all the uh, cleaners? Why the hell is this? What kind of plot is this? You go to any city, it's the same setup. Right. You got to understand that we targets. Right. Let me prove that. That's it on that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a powder, of a powder shall they be broken to shiver. Because so, we're going to rule over these nations. If they don't want to keep the commandments, we're going to bust them head. Right. Ain't no more, oh, no. They gon' Just like they made us celebrate um, 4th of July, you don't want to celebrate God, tabernacles, feast of uh, Purim. All the holy days in the Bible, they won't exist. They're going to have to serve God through us. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, you know what? His word!